What's going on guys, Jerry Neutron here back with a brand new video and today we're going to be doing some GPU benchmarking. So a couple weeks back support for the Vulkan API was released for Doom and all around the internet you guys have seen benchmarks of what the uh, RX 480 can do in this game when using OpenGL versus Vulkan and I thought well what if you don't have that graphics card? What if you've got an older 200 series or 300 series card? Are you still going to see those types of gains? So I do happen to have an R9 290X lying around and an R9 380X lying around that I've went ahead and tested and uh, today I'm going to show you guys the results of those tests to see if Vulkan is worth using if you have an older AMD GPU. Okay so before we get into the benchmarks let me just go over the graphics settings that I'm using uh, in Doom here. So starting on the advanced tab uh, I'm using the ultra preset so I've got nothing set custom of course it's on the uh, Vulkan API and uh, yeah, no nightmare settings, just because all of the uh, GPUs here actually aren't capable of even selecting that option because they don't have enough VRAM. So we're just going with the uh, ultra preset here. And then under the video tab, I've gone with the default options minus uh, VSync being disabled. All right, so onto the benchmarks, starting with the R9 290X. This card's actually running slightly overclocked with a, a core clock of 1100 megahertz and a memory clock of 1500 megahertz. So starting with OpenGL at 1080p ultra preset, we have an average frame rate of 99.11 and a minimum frame rate of 64.65. Then switching over to the Vulkan API, we see that average frame rate shoots all the way up to 147.13 and a minimum frame rate of 48.99. So as we can see with the average frame rate, we get nearly a 50 FPS increase, which is crazy. So then I decided to go ahead and test it at 1440p. And with OpenGL, the average frame rate was 68.79 with a minimum frame rate of 47.28. Then switching over to the Vulkan API, we have an average frame rate of 96.07 and a minimum frame rate of 48.36. So as we can see, the minimum frame rates didn't really change that much, but the average gives you a huge jump. That is nearly 30 FPS. So that's pretty crazy there. So then I decided to go ahead and test the uh, R9 380X. This is actually a factory overclocked card from XFX. So starting with Doom here at uh, 1080p OpenGL, we have an average frame rate of 66.32 and a minimum frame rate of 42.06. Then switching over to Vulkan at 1080p, we have an average frame rate of 86.77 and a minimum frame rate of 62.84. So we can see in this case, we actually got a big jump in both minimums and the average frame rate as well. Uh, and that matters a lot, I think, with the, more of a mainstream card like this, where sometimes you kind of have to pick your uh, graphics settings with care because uh, if you bump it up too high, the game may not run smooth. So Vulkan really gives you the opportunity to uh, run on ultra preset with no worries at all. So I decided to uh, test it also in 1440p. So with OpenGL, we got an average frame rate of 43.76 and a minimum frame rate of 28.03. And switching over to Vulkan, we have an average frame rate of 56.06 and a minimum frame rate of 40.97. So still a pretty decent jump there, even at 1440p. So that's pretty much just what I wanted to show you guys here. You still can get gains switching over to the Vulkan API. You don't need an RX 480 in order to see that. Um, let me know what you guys think about the results down in the comments below. Like this video if you like this type of content. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, see ya.